And it will be Ivory Coast to take the first one. Now, what's going through the player's mind here? Does he hit it with power? Does he pick a corner? I mean, he's trying to psych him out. Here's Chick Teote, Newcastle United. Oh, I think he'd go with power. Teote, a powerful shot, and he's just got to keep it underneath the crossbar. If you hit it with power, can he keep his nerve? He can. Good penalty, Teote. And it is 1 0 to I. The goalkeeper goes the wrong way. Certainly not in the corner. It's at a decent height. The goalkeeper dives the right way. See that penalty spot just starting to come up there. I'm sure that'll be in Didier Drogba's mind if he has to take one. That's what he pointed at before. To suspect that he would be Christopher Katongo now, the captain of Zambia, stepping up against Bubakar Barry. We've seen off Senegal and Ghana, the other two big favourites. Can they hold their nerve here against Ivory Coast? Katongo, oh, that was cool, and it's 1 1. Not sure what the placing of the towel was meant to signify by. Barry, he's just walked up to it, it's Katongo, make sure the goalkeeper goes one way and then just passes it in the other corner, very cool, very calm, here's one of the subs, Johnny Wilfred, Vitesse Arnhem in Holland, can he keep his cool, Bonnie Wilfried? Aubameyang had to go through and he missed for Gabon. 5-4 defeat for Mali. It's an awful situation to be in. And Wilfried scores with a really cool penalty. A great penalty. It's got enough height, and even if the goalkeeper dives the right way, that would beat him. One thing perhaps in Ivory Coast's favour here is that they are taking the first penalty, and I think that gets more and more crucial the deeper you get into a penalty shooter. This has been so much to Zambia. Well, you'd like to see Mayuka score because he's been one of the players of the tournament, hasn't he, Mayuka? Yeah, he certainly has, as has Katonga. He scored his. And Emmanuel Mayuka do likewise. Yes, he can. It's 2 2. Four really good penalties so far. Yeah, that just had enough height on it. Yeah, beats the goalkeeper for pace as well. Well, it's the centre half, Bamba. No Diddy a Drogba yet. He took the first one, by the way, in that 2006 final that he missed. Sol Bamba. Singing you can hear in the background is the Zambian sub to a singing. Not in tune, it has to be said. Looks nervous, Bamba. And it's been saved by Mouini. No, no. The, the assistant referee has just put his flag up. He's going to have to take it again. He's saying the goalkeeper came off the line. Just have to wait and see here. I think he's got another chance at this. Watch here. He just comes off his line. And there goes the flag. Here it comes. Yeah, he's a, he's a couple of yards off, isn't it? It does seem harsh because you see that so many times in penalty shootouts and goalkeepers get away with it. But by the letter of the law, they've got it right. Another chance for Bamba, and this time he thrumps it into the back of the net, and it is 3-2. Well, he went for power the second time, and he must heart must have been in his mouth there because it just creeps under the crossbar. Well, what a... It's amazing. Going one way, it swings back the other. Drogba missing a penalty. He felt maybe Zambia's name on it, then Katongo hits the post with that wonderful save from Barry. And then just as Bamba has his penalty saved, it's retaken, and now the pressure is back on Zambia. Well, the assistant referee has to be consistent now with his decisions. Yeah, he certainly does, and that's key. So all goalkeepers will come off their line. Isaac Chancer of Orlando Pirates. A few 
few words before he takes it here. And puts it away. Well taken. And you have... That has to be retaken. Well, obviously, you were looking at the same thing as I was, because he comes out a yard, but it's a good penalty. No worry there. Bending it into the far corner. Oh, this is going to be terrible on one individual out there. The penalty shootout, you often hope that a couple of players miss, which often happens in fairness. But of course, Gabon went out with just Pierre Aubameyang, the only player missing. He had the weight of that on his shoulders, and 3-3 after six penalties, it's looking more and more likely, as though one person is going to be responsible. It's Max Gradle. Scores, 4-3, Ivory Coast. That seems to be the corner, doesn't it? Once again, that's a decent penalty. Has enough pace on it. Probably goes the wrong way anyway. Now these pressure, these penalties now become more and more pressurised for Zambia. More and more crucial. Because if Bubakar Barry can keep this one out, Ivory Coast will have the next one to win it. Would it be Didier Drogba to take it? hopeful it is Felix Katonga his older brother has already scored his oh, they look so cool don't they the Zambian players as though they're just enjoying this occasion that penalty spot is getting more and more worn and the referee hasn't helped it now by saying that it has to be right on the spot I mean, if there's a big divot there to be realistic, the referee, and allow them to move it. Felix Katongo scores. What a great penalty. 4-4, and still neither side has flinched. And the goalkeeper dived the right one. He dived early as well. I think it goes over him. And the penalty spot is really churning up now. He can't believe it. That was one he thought he might be able to save. Well, it's pressure time now. It's not officially sudden death, but effectively is now. He's got Drogba on his back, and it is Didier Drogba. Well, what drama and what a moment for the Ivory Coast captain. Missed his penalty in the 2006 shootout defeat to Egypt. Missed a penalty in this final. Surely he won't complete an unwanted hat-trick, will he? If he does, Zambia have the next penalty to win the Cup of Nations. Drogba against Mawini. Scores this time. Kept his nerve brilliantly, Didier Drogba. And you have to give credit to a player who has missed two penalties previously in Cup of Nations finals. But he tucked that one away. Well, it goes over the top of the spare in hand of the goalkeeper and Winnie. I'll tell you what, though, whatever you say about him, that is brave to step up and take that. Absolutely. Oh, dear. Look who's taking it here, is it? Yes, it is. It is Mawini, the now, Zambian goalkeeper. If he misses it, does Didier Drogba run up and taunt him and then go to shake his hand? Well, what a penalty this is. Has to score. Or Ivory Coast have won it. If he does score, we go to sudden death. A cool penalty from Mawini, the goalkeeper. It is 5-5, a set of perfect penalties, and it goes to sudden death, and that's a great from Bubakar Barry to being scored against by his opposite number. Well, had he dived the right way, that's a good moment. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Well, that is a handshake that is good to see. First to miss, and it could be all over. Well, I told you we could be in for a long night. We've had two 11-10s in this competition involving Ivory Coast. Twenty-four penalties is the record. Ivory Coast involved in both of them. We've had ten so far, all of them scored, and just as well, the referee ordered a retake from Bambas. Otherwise, they would already be celebrating. TNA to take this one. Usually has a pretty sweet left foot. 
And he does this time as well, 6-5, Ivory Coast. And Zambia are back in that awful position again of having to score. And the players that are coming up now are the ones that didn't want to take a penalty in the first place. They thought they might be let off the hook. It won't come round to them. He looks cool, doesn't he? That's because he doesn't have to take one. He knows whatever happens. He'll be hailed as a top coach by Zambian officials when he gets back and the Doreen Nation. It's Nathan Sinkala. 20-year-old for Zambia. Only made his international debut last year. Let's hope he doesn't spoil what's been a great tournament for himself. Bit of a hesitancy. Oh, and he's buried it in the top corner. I thought for a second, you know, he'd put that over. I think he miskicks this. <laughs> I think he gets underneath it too much because to side foot it. Oh, I'm not. Oh, maybe I'm doing him a yeah, I think you disservice. Are. I think a, you are. A, if, he, if he meant that, that's a brilliant pass. To side foot that into the top corner. With the power he got as well. When that left his boot, I must admit, I thought that was going into the crowd. Well, this is awful, isn't it? Didier Yakonen, what drama. 12 penalties taken, 12 penalties scored. Can Yakonen keep his nerve? Yes, he can. It's 7 6. That's the area where they like to put them. This is getting tougher and tougher for Zambia. A third penalty coming up for the Zambians, which they have to score. If you're Ivory Coast player and you're stepping up, no, there's half a chance that your goalkeeper could get you out of trouble with the following penalty. But for Zambia, there's no comeback. If this is missed by Chizambalungu, they've lost, and Ivory Coast are celebrating. Well, I hope it was an encouraging word from Didier Drogba as Lungu was going to take it. I think it was. Lubakar Barry taking his time to collect his thoughts. Any penalty now could be the winning moment. Lungu has to score. And does. It is 7 all. And he's giving it the same as Mouini did to Bubakar Barry. Do you know what that sign means? It's a good penalty. Bending it. Because he's going to play it into one corner, just wrapping his foot round it. Great penalties, isn't it? 7 all after 14. There's no doubt Sol Bamba is the most relieved man out there at the moment. We've got to hunt round for penalty takers now. Penalty number 15 coming up. Surely Ivory Coast can't have yet another marathon penalty shootout in the Africa Cup of Nations. Well, the players that were left on the field, as Gosso's got to take a penalty. Where's Colo Toure? Now, Colo Toure likes to smash them. Jovino's another player that hasn't taken one yet. Well, he scored in the 2006 final, Colo Toure. One of only two Ivory Coast players who did score in that 4-2 loss to Egypt. Got time to have a little smile. Who is going to flinch in this extraordinary penalty shootout? 7 all. No margin for error now for either side. And it looks as though he's going to go for power, Colo Torre. And Winnie could go into the back of the net with this if he blocks it. Colo Torre, saved by Mouini! And this time the flag doesn't go up. And Zambia have the next penalty to win the Africa Cup of Nations. Now, just looking at that again, Stuart, is there too much difference between what Mouini's done there to save that as the Bamba save? Just watch. No, I think he's OK there. He stays on his line. He's come forward. He's come forward. But it's almost at the same time. Yeah, he does come forward. I but I think the other one was a little bit... But you expect the goalkeeper to move. So tough, isn't it? What a chance for Zambia. You feel for Colo Torre. 
Somebody was always going to be the full guy this evening. And he's been the player of the tournament as well, Colo. So he's so often the way, isn't it? So often the way. And here's another candidate after the first couple of games. He didn't play so well today. Calaba. Rainford Calaba. To put Zambia in a place in history. A chance to truly honour the memory. 93 if Calaba scores Zambia are champions he's missed unbelievable absolutely unbelievable Rainford Calaba blazes over the top we stay at 7 all and Ivory Coast are still in it oh what a horrible moment but he gets right underneath it he's leaning back tries to bend it way off oh, doesn't miss by a foot it misses by about three yards well both teams have had penalties effectively now to win this haven't they oh they were already celebrating now Jovino as well as he's played for Arsenal as well as he's played in this tournament he I don't think he's a great finisher and the fact that he is ninth in line he doesn't fancy the penalty either. Colo Turi's led off the hook. Stays level. After all, 11 penalty takers have taken it. Goes back to the start again. Which is exactly what happened in the 92 final. I think the manager should take one. <laughs> and the substitutes. That would be entertaining, wouldn't it? Look at the state of the spot. Javinho. Can Mawini save again? He doesn't need to because Javinho has fired over. And Zambia have another chance to win it. Well, after 14 penalties in a row being scored, we've now had three in a row missed. And another chance for Zambia. But it's getting harder and harder now. You've got to say, the taking has been brilliant up until this point because the pitch, the penalty spot, is cutting up badly. The standing foot is slipping away from players, but that's a poor penalty from Jovino. As I said, he's not a great finisher. He's lost his confidence in front of goal. And they've got one chance again. Another chance. Zambia. Would a victory ever mean more to any other set of players than this Zambian team if they were to win the Africa Cup of Nations 19 years from where the squad perished in a plane crash? It's in! Tucked away! Stopper at Zunzu and Zambia are champions of Africa. Let's Destiny has smiled on Zambia 19 years on that the scene of their greatest tragedy has become the scene of their most wonderful success. Ivory Coast have fallen short yet again and Zambia have written a quite remarkable chapter into the history book of the Africa Cup of Nations. Stofira Sunzu tucking away the winning penalty and Zambia are champions of Africa for the first